Today, something a little bit different. Itasha. If you've ever seen photos on the internet of cars plastered in stickers of like anime girls, that is what Itasha is. This is the kanji for car. And when you attach this kanji to another word, it describes what sort of car you're talking about. For example, dorisha means drift car, or amesha means American car. Now, itasha usually means, you may have guessed, Italian car. However, because the internet likes to make a big joke out of things all the time, it's this character, which means painful. What that means is any normal person who sees this driving around the street will go, Ugh. What makes Itasha interesting is the fact it's a mix of car culture, anime, video games, idol groups, and even military fan culture. So the plan for today is basically walk up and down and see what's here. So this Impreza is a fairly good example of a fairly standard Itasha, sort of late model car. It's been modified with sort of bolt-on parts and also stickers. To be honest, I didn't really expect to see a Zoksha here, but there you go. It's got some huge steelies on it. I'll also do my best to, uh, if I know what is actually on these cars, I'll try and uh, point it out. But uh, I've got to admit, I've been out of this uh, game for a while now. <laughs> this is one character you're going to see a lot of today. Uh, Hatsune Miku, it's like a virtual singing idol. So anytime you see these blue pigtails, it's probably her. I'm pretty sure this is going to be another popular theme here too. Love Live, which is uh, also a virtual idol singing group. Also this one here, Toho characters. Uh, Toho is a video game series, like a vertical scrolling shooter. I can't believe I know all this. This is another one you're going to see a lot of today, I'm sure. Girls and Panza. It's a series in which high school girls do uh, school sports, but instead of being a regular sport, like, uh, you know, volleyball or something like that, uh, they do battles with World War II tanks. As you can see so far, most of these cars are sort of lightly modified with bolt-ons. Although you do occasionally see cars like this at a drift track. Here's more Love Live stuff. Another popular theme on these cars are, uh, how should I put it? Adult video games. Miku once again. There's actually a Super GT car sponsored by this company as well. I think it's a, it used to be a BMW, but I'm not sure about uh, these days. Miku is a character known as a Vocaloid. That's another Vocaloid character there. Uh, there's sort of a voice simulation software, which became really popular a while ago. And there's quite a few different voices, like there's different characters who have sort of different voices. They even have like actual live stage events with a 3D projection of Miku on stage. Oh, look at this chaser. Like these wraps are not cheap. This is obviously the Vocaloid Isle. So the character with the yellow hair we just saw, uh, they're actually twins, uh, Rin and Ren. So this is obviously a, a Rin car, she has the bow on her head. If you guys are getting weirded out by this, uh, I'll link a video right now that you can watch instead of this one. This series is really popular right now, as is this character. It's got speakers in the headlights. Even if these cars weren't all covered in wraps, it would still be a fairly decent modified car meet. The Crown Comfort Taxi. The 
like this Civic has a full brake upgrade on it. So yeah, most of these cars are maybe not too heavily modified, but uh, they are modified. Here's some more characters you're going to see today. This series is called Strike Witches, and oh, how do I even begin to explain this? Uh, they are human versions of World War II fighter planes, which uh, just happen to look like high school girls. This is fairly decent. So he's got center lines on the back. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Made in USA. Now check out the center exhaust under the number plate. I have to remind everyone at this point that when I posted up on Snapchat asking, should I come to this event? The overwhelming answer was yes. So it's your guys' fault, I'm here today. All right, here's another series you're gonna see here today. It's called uh, Kantai Collection or Kankore. And what it is, is it's uh, World War II, like battleships and uh, you know ships anthropomorphized into, as you can see, uh, high school girls. So of course the uh, submarine one has to be in uh, in a swimsuit. Yeah, anthropomorphism is, uh, what's it called in Japanese, gijinka. And it's the reason why you see so many sort of mascot characters. If you're considering unsubbing because of this video, please don't. Oh, it's like a K-On Powerpuff Girls mashup. Actually, I've seen this car before. I'm pretty sure. I saw it a few years ago at uh, Honjo Circuit. Actually, come to think of it, there's a couple of D1 cars that are sponsored by the company that makes uh, Girls and Panzer. Actually, that's just subtle enough to be not that bad. What do you think? This series here, K-On. It's really old now, but uh, it's still popular. Once again, it's about uh, high school girls in a band. Otherwise known as the tea drinking anime. Okay. There you go again, strike witches. I mean, it sort of makes sense to have a small car because these wraps can be a few thousand dollars to do. So I guess the smaller your car, the cheaper it is. And here's a Mark II that actually looks like a drift car. Oh, here's one, it's called uh, Milky Homes. It's actually a girl idol group. And Holmes as in like Detective Holmes, like the sort of uh, detectives. It's sort of hard to explain. Come to think of it, a lot of stuff here is uh, hard to explain. Oh, this guy's decked out his entire truck. So it seems uh, Girls and Panzer is the most popular. Here you go, look. Oh look, we're all eating cake sitting on a, on a main battle tank. Why has this car got a Finland theme on it? Well, it's because... Uh, one of the schools in Girls and Panzer is based around Finland. So Finland mentioned. Here's another popular series, Madoka Magica. It's one of those magical girl series, sort of like Sailor Moon, except that uh, everybody gets murdered brutally. It's quite good. As you can see, no car is off limits for Itasha. I don't know, I think this style you could sort of get away with overseas. <laughs> this one, maybe not so much. Alright, this Supra is probably the most respectable one I've seen so far. Man, that would have cost a lot. Even got the spoiler done. Hang on, that's got Lamborghini wheels on it. Oh, this guy came all the way from Nagoya.
This guy's probably really good at those crane games. For the people who sometimes ask, do those big vans still exist? Well, here's one. When I came here, I was sort of at least half hoping maybe I'd know at least one person here, but uh, so far, nobody I know. I wonder if these guys ever have to like go and pick up their girlfriend from the train station of these things. Oh wait, who am I kidding? Like that's a big effort to wrap that whole car like this. Even the roof. There you go, it's an actual Italian Itasha. I'd say that's a replica of the Reebok GTR. Is it actually a GTR? It is. I've seen a couple cars like this so far, just sort of a subtle wrap on the front fender. See, the thing about these virtual idol groups like Love Live is that they have a million characters in them, so whatever fetish combination you have, there's going to be a character that uh, you like. It's got an interesting... Uh, oh, he's wrapped the wheels in like a fade. That's kind of a cool look. So each spoke has a sticker on it with like a fade on it. So we've sort of seen pretty much every sort of popular kind of tuna car here today. There's not really any sort of one particular car that people drive, I guess, because it's not drifting where, you know, some cars do it better than others. You can drive whatever you like. Oh, this is something else you see too. Uh, not just cars, people will wrap sort of other things like uh, bikes and snowboards and things like that. So you just add ita to the front of that. So uh, a bike is a itachari. I'm not sure what a snowboard would be. I think we've got another GTR. Let's just see. It's got the gauges. Yeah, it's a GTR. All right, I have a question. Are any of the regular viewers of this channel into this sort of stuff? Write in the comments. I mean, it's not like I'm planning to do more of it, but uh, it's just I'd like to know. I'm sort of thinking this might be a good uh, deterrent to getting pulled over by the police. You could drive a modified car, but it'd just be so embarrassing that no cop would want to be seen pulling someone over in one of these. Interesting thought. So it seems that uh, Ita bikes are also a thing. And uh, racing bikes too, these are called Itachari. Chari meaning uh, bicycle. Ah, look at the motor compo. I actually own one of these, it's uh, buried right up the back of my garage. Should probably get it out again soon. Japan never change. Ah, this 34, I have actually seen it at Nikko Circuit drifting. So here's one that does actually drift. And I remember the last time I saw it, he'd smashed his front bumper. Which probably explains why it's not wrapped as much as the rest of the car. So another Toho themed wrap. How's that for a wing upright? All right, here we go with a legitimate use of Itasha. This is the Project Mu stand here. So Mu is the symbol used for coefficient of friction, which is why it's being used for brake pads, right? Well, their mascot character's name is Mu, spelled M-I-U, which is a fairly standard sort of name for Japanese girls. So it's a joke, get it? I was wondering if there was going to be one here. 35 GTR. Oh, this is a uh, left-hand drive. This has probably been re-imported from the United States. That was sort of a thing a while ago. A lot of uh, 240s were being exported from specifically the West Coast because they weren't all rusty. That's probably one of those cars. Oh, 
Oh, that's a that's a look. Oh, check out this Audi. Oh, there's an R8 next to it. I mean, can you imagine anyone overseas doing this to their R8? Oh, if you know Gundam, you'll recognize this. Check it out. That's pretty cool. That's meant to be uh, Charles Zaku from uh, Gundam. It's even got the eye. This Daihatsu midget is pretty crazy. There's another A86. I can't believe I know this. Uh, this character is from one of those uh, dating simulator video games, which are usually more often than not erotic. So having these sorts of characters in your car basically is uh, telling the world that you, uh, you fap it to video games. But I guess your average person isn't going to know what it is, so uh, they won't know. I mean, what is there not to like about well-endowed cat girls plastered all over your, uh, your Prius? I can't think of a single thing. Oh, I saw this fan at a parking lot meet once. He's got a huge monitor in the back of this thing. Or at least he used to. Again, that's the uh, Kankore that I was talking about before. The... Uh, anthropomorphized battleships. If you want to search for it, just search for that. Although it's a rabbit hole, you might not want to go down. Oh, this particular series here is uh, aimed at like, like eight-year-old girls. But it's also popular with uh, older guys, funnily enough. So these ones are kind of good. All right, that's all for today here at Odaiba. I just met a bunch of guys who watch the channel. Uh, I know it's been a bit weird today. Uh, hopefully we'll be back next week with more proper, you know, drifting and racing and burnouts and smoke and stuff like that. But uh, until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Woo!